everyone. Happy Thursday. Um, so I did not pop on here yesterday because I was filming all day long. <laughs> I was uh, finishing the very last um, part of the B6674 sew along. I'd been letting that dress hang, um, well, since before we went to Colorado, so it's been hanging for quite a while. Actually, it didn't drop as much as I thought it would. Um, but anyway, I uh, filmed that and then I also filmed tomorrow's video. Um, so that base, I mean, it basically took up my day. So I was doing that. However, um, a friend of mine um, did give me a call. A sewing friend of mine called me yesterday. We talked on the phone for quite a while, but I did get my daughter's um, Rhapsody blouse cut out. So I've got both the Ebony and the Rhapsody cut out. Um, I mean, they're still just cut out. <laughs> I, um, I, yeah, I, it's time for me to get back at the sewing machine, I think. However, um, all the filming I did yesterday, now means uh, editing for today because it is, I mean, it's already three o'clock. I hate the video that's going up tomorrow, so you will have already seen it by the time you're seeing this. Um, but it, I, I've been editing for three hours, which it, editing normally does not take me nearly that long. <laughs> it's just a very lengthy video um, with a lot of like, a lot of links. And when I was doing the research for the video, I had been, I, I, when I'm doing research, I always try and save links into a document and stuff. So it makes it really easy to copy over, um, for the description box. And it somehow got completely deleted and I don't even know what happened there. It was just gone. So I had to redo all of that, um, and pull pictures and stuff off the internet and get all that loaded up in the video. Anyway, it took me a long time today. Um, and also we were up at the school this morning for, um, my kids got their Chromebooks and uh, got to walk their schedules and find out their uh, lockers. So that happened this morning. And then they had like a little parent class that went along with it um, for, so my kids are going back with a hybrid schedule, which means every other day they're in school, like actually in person in school. And then on the opposite days, they're uh, virtual learning because they've split the whole school up into two groups. So depending on your last name, depends on what day you go. <clears throat> and so anyway, um, just kind of, a lesson on how to use all of the virtual things that they've got. Um, it's a whole platform, I guess, this virtual platform that they use, which they've been using for years anyway. Not years, for a while. Well, probably years. Anyway, <laughs> they've made changes so that it's easier for both kids that are completely virtual, that have made the decision to be completely virtual, and also ones that are doing hybrid. My kids will be doing the hybrid. So anyway, we had to go up. We were at the school this morning for quite a bit. Um, Anyway, so that's kind of getting started. Although all the other schools in our school district started today. Um, it's just because the middle school is starting um, six days later. So <laughs> we're not back yet, but everyone else is. So that um, was today. So anyway, I have moved my office down into my sewing room, basically. So, I mean, I have a desk that's set up here. You guys have seen the desk when I've done tours and stuff at the sewing room. Um, but with everyone being home every other day, my husband's still working from home, I needed a separate space. Um, and I feel like my kids need a good space too in order for them to um, really focus and be at school because it's going to be a lot different than the spring. They're going to have to actually be at a computer at school f during the hours of school. Um, they'll have to check in for each block just as if they were there in person. So um, anyway... I've decided, I've moved my, I normally did my editing and any computer work and stuff, just like on the couch or whatever upstairs. Um, but I've moved everything down to my sewing room. I, luckily my sewing chair, my sewing chair is back. My husband to give that back. <laughs> Finally, he had it for a week. <clears throat> but I, it's on wheels. And so, cause I was sitting, I have like a, an extra uh, dining chair for our kitchen table that sits down here just at my desk when I needed to pop down here. It's not very comfortable. I mean, it's just a kitchen chair. So luckily my sewing chair is on wheels so I'm able I moved it over to my desk for uh, editing and stuff and I think that's gonna work really well um, and then also I feel more like I'm at work so that's what I've been doing today I have a friend coming over in about an hour bringing her daughter who needs a couple pairs of jeans hemmed so I'm gonna go ahead and do that for her um, and then we've got my daughter has art tonight and my son has soccer so it's one of those Thursdays are like our passing ships in the night type nights. Um, but anyway, that is what we've got going on. Um, I don't know if I'll do any sewing tonight. Yeah, I don't know if I will or not. I may actually, because I still need to edit all of the footage that I took of the sew along for Friday. Um, 
So I may wait. Yeah, I may do some editing tonight while everyone's gone um, at their various and sundry <laughs> things. Uh, and then that means that tomorrow I will be able to so do some sewing. Now, my Gucci coat. I finally got it. I went and picked up my dry cleaning. So um, I would show it to you right now, but I'm in a dress and so it just doesn't look right. But I will um, style it up tomorrow and put it on and let you see what it looks like now that it's been professionally cleaned and pressed. I do think, because I did put it on real quick just to see, I just think it's lacking structure like right here in the um, shoulder part of the jacket, which extra inter, I can't remember if I interfaced the whole front. I feel like I did interface the whole front of that jacket. I feel like some horsehair canvas just right there in the front shoulder like you would put in a um, blazer would be really helpful and would really make it look um, sit better because it kind of collapses on itself in through this area. But I'll part try that on tomorrow and let you see. Um, I think that that's more of an internal structure issue, but it does look very nice now that it's been professionally um, pressed. And uh, I think that, um, yeah, I'm excited to, to pull that out on occasion to wear this fall. It may live upstairs in the guest room closet with my other blazers this fall. I don't know, we'll see. Um, sorry, I have gum in my mouth. I always put in a piece right before I talk to you guys, and so I'm trying to like stick it up to the roof of my mouth so it's not grossing people out. Um, let's see. I think that's all I've got for right now. So yeah, I will show you the, um, sorry, I'm being distracted. I am being distracted. <laughs> I will show you the jacket probably tomorrow, maybe the day after, um, so you guys can see that. And, um, yeah, that's all I've got for now. I just wanted to pop on and say, hey, because I didn't talk to you guys yesterday. And, uh, yeah, I don't think I'll be doing any sewing today. But, yeah, maybe I will go ahead and move along with editing so then I can sew tomorrow. But I will definitely be taking you along because my daughter is getting very antsy for her clothing. So um, sewing really does need to happen. <laughs> all right, I hope you guys are having a good Thursday, and I will see you later. Bye! Hello, everyone. Happy Friday. Um, okay, I was able to get my... Um, the last part of the B6674 sew along, uh, edited and uploaded last night. So I have a free sewing day basically, which is very exciting. So I still have my daughter's Rhapsody blouse and her ebony cut out. However, this is gonna sound like so lazy, but my serger is currently set up with brown thread and the ebony is gonna need white. But pretty much everything else I'm making for her, I think I wanna use the brown. Um, it'll just be the closest like most tonally the best match, I think. Um, even if I have to use a different color in the, um, the left, the far left needle, or even either of the straight needles. But, um, so I'm gonna just hold off on the ebony until I'm finished using the brown and then I'll switch to the white. It's so lazy, but you know, it is what it is. Um, and so I've also this morning gone ahead and I printed off two more patterns for her. Um, let me see here. I have printed off the um, Studio Cali Calico, that's what I'm going with, it's C-A-L-I-C-O-T, um, but that bomber jacket that I'm making for her, which actually this is 23 and a quarter um, inches long, I'm trying to see, uh, where did I see that, the back length, yes. Which I think is the back length, which is actually like it, it's at more like her hip. <laughs> so I need to shorten it like six inches for it to hit where she wants it to hit. Um, which of course is going to mess with the pockets because it's got it has the um, the zippered pockets here, which I think would be very useful to have. I mean, I'll talk to her about it if she really wants the pockets because I think she's wanting this more as like a style jacket as opposed to a um, like function type jacket. I mean, she'll wear it as a function type jacket too. Uh, so I could omit the zipper pockets, although they're pretty cute. Anyway, we're going to play around with that one. I'll probably do this one um, last today because I also went ahead and printed off the Love Notions Rockford Raglan. Um, I think I'm going to do the tunic link for her and that green uh, knit fabric that I did uh, for the plans video. So I've got this one all printed out. So many pages, which seems a little odd, but um, anyway, she's an extra small in Love Notion, so sometimes I get like blank pages printed out because I only print off her size, 
um, since she's such a small size. But anyway, okay, so I have those two printed, and then I just wanted to show you. So, dear Marlene, one of my wonderful uh, viewers, she had her uh, colors done, and I've also realized I've had a lot of questions about that recently. It's been a while since I've, um, for those of you that are newer to the channel, what that, like, that I got my colors done back in January, and I had them done by Christy Russell. She is an online stylist, um, well, in-person stylist, too, but she's in Toronto, and she does virtual color analysis. Now, it fills up all the time, so, like, right now, if you go to her website and click on the color analysis service she offers, you have to get on a waiting list, but she does open them up fairly frequently. It's not, like, a rolling waiting list. It's, like, all of a sudden, she'll be like, okay, I'm opening it back up, and she'll send you an email when she does that, and you can sign up. She usually opens up, like, 10 to 12 spots at a time. Um, so if you are interested in that, I'm going to link it down below. But Marlene actually went and had her colors done shortly after I had mine done, also by Christy. So as um, we've been emailing back and forth and, um, sh you know, showing each other, like, plans and, um, you know, just how much fun it is to, to kind of sew in your color palette, it just makes picking fabric so much easier. Anyway, she had gifted me the um, mustard midweight linen from Fabrics Dash fabrics-store.com and I made one of my Kimberly's out of it because she had purchased that for herself and then it just wasn't in her color palette at all. And then she just sent me, look at this, is that not gorgeous? This one was also, she was trying to make this work for her color palette too, um, you know, like for a bottom and just couldn't get any tops to match whatever, but this is totally in my color palette, all those greens. And actually, and she said she had three and a half yards of it, it's from, um, I recognize the sticker, it's from, um, uh, fabric Mart, because I recognize the, stick, the sticker, but it is a, a, a stretch cotton, basically. Um, but I have three and a half yards of it, and I kind of, this kind of reads to me a little bit like a, um, a fancy camouflage, just a little because of the colors and the way that the flowers all are like everywhere. So I'm trying to decide three and a half yards, like what should I do with this? Should I do a trench coat? Would that be amazing? Like, that would work in a, in a cotton twill, like a lightweight trench coat. Um, or I could do, like, because it's stretch, I could do fun pants. I could do, I mean, there's so many things you can do with um, a stretch cotton twill. And I would say it's, like, medium weight. Like, you could definitely get a pair of pants out of this. Um, you know, like a pair of, um, like, work trouser type pants, like uh, the... Um, Oh my gosh, what's the name of that pattern? The Closet Core Patterns is the Sasha, Sasha trousers. I've made those before, but you could definitely do something like that with them. Um, and it's a sateen a little bit. Like, it has a little bit of the sateen finish on the front. Uh, I haven't washed it yet or anything, but isn't that lovely? Thank you again, Marlene. I love this so much. I think it's so fun. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. What, what should I do with this? Three and a half yards is a lot. Like, I could get maybe a couple things out of that. Um, anyway, and I did just buy a trench coat pattern in the style arc sale that they had back at the end of July. They had their Christmas in July or whatever sale um, and I bought a couple patterns and I did get one of their trench coat patterns when I did that. Um, so anyway, that's kind of what we've got going on for today. So I'm going to start by sewing up. I'm going to push the ebony off for now um, just because I'm going to wait until I can switch over my thread. And I'm going to, um, I think, do the Rhapsody blouse first and then we'll cut out the raglan and then we'll mess around with the bomber jacket. So it's probably gonna be a lot of time lapse today, but um, I'm very excited just to dig in and do some sewing. So um, yeah, let's get the threads all changed, get the iron on, and it's not even very early, it's almost 11 o'clock. <laughs> I had a lazy start to the day a little bit. Not really, it was just, you know, I just wasn't moving quickly. So, um, but I'm down here now and uh, ready to get to work. Okie dokie.
Okay, it is 5.15. I need to go make dinner for my family, but I was able to get her Rhapsody Blast done. I'm not gonna be able to get her to try these on until the final thing, so you'll have to wait till the reveal of the module to actually see them on a person. But she actually, I did the three quarter length sleeves that are supposed to have um, elastic, and when I made it for myself, I put elastic here. But because they're three quarter length sleeves, she really liked how loose they were. I think she's gonna tuck this into high waisted jeans most of the time. So, um, it, I mean, it fit her really well. This was kind of, it's a, this is a lighter weight rayon. Obviously it needs to be steamed or pressed or something. Um, but it was kind of a pain to work with. It's just a little on the shifty side, which the lighter weight ones tend to be. Then I made her the, um, Rockford Raglan. Um, this fabric's also pretty wrinkly. This is a cute top though. Someone had told me that um, when they did theirs that the neckband needed to be shorter. So I did measure and actually I would agree with that if you were going to use any other knit. This knit does not have great recovery. It's 100% cotton um, and not even that much stretch. So actually I left the neckband the same. But yeah, if you were using anything with stretch, this would get very floppy very quickly. Um, and I already have this green in my cover stitch machine. So oh, that rhymes. <laughs> the screen in my cover stitch machine. So I was able to get everything all done. So it kind of has a little swing to it. I did the shirt. Um, she wanted the long sleeves with the cuffs. For this, I, I bought like four yards of this fabric. This fabric is not very wide, but I can definitely get a couple more tops out of it. So um, yeah, and it's a really good color for her. So that's just a basic tank or t-shirt kind of, because it's really swingy. So that makes it a little bit different. This is also really wrinkly. Um, those will steam right out as well. And then finally, I got her bomber jacket done. Sorry, I was a bit all the way up. So this is the, it used to be Kamatia, Kamatia, Kamatia patterns. Now it is Studio Calico, um, and that's C-A-L-I-C-O-T. I'll have a link down to the pattern below. But this still says Kamatia patterns on the actual print off. It's their bomber jacket. It's like J004 or something like that. Um, now, there are zipper pockets that come with it. It's like a bat wing style um, bomber. It's got the knit on the cuffs, on the neckband, and on the waist. Um, little zipper pockets are supposed to come out here, but this is not, the illustration on this makes it look like it's cropped. It's not. Um, it hits like mid hip, high hip. I ended up taking five inches off this, um, I mean, before I made it up. I was doing a lot of measuring. She was getting very annoyed with me. <laughs> Um, but to get it to hit at her natural waist, and she has a long waist, so it's not even like cropped on her is long, it would be longer on others is what I'm trying to say. But we shortened it by five inches. It hits right at her natural waistline with a little blue sawn effect now. Um, so I had to omit the pockets because the pockets literally would have been like right here, <laughs> like off the jacket. So, um, she said she was fine with that. I mean, otherwise, I mean, we could have put the pockets in, but they've been like way up here and she would have been like sticking them in right at her boob. So, um, we decided to omit the pockets. Um, I think that this rib knit looks really great with this, uh, for all the pieces and yeah, everything fits really well. I had to shorten the zipper, um, which wasn't a big deal. I need to like oil it though. It is not zipping super smoothly. I think so. I think I've read somewhere if you rub like a bar of soap down metal zipper teeth that that helps. Do you guys have any tips? Let me know. <laughs> so there we go. So um, the only thing left in this um, module for these module plans are that ebony, which will literally take me maybe 30 minutes to sew up. I just need to change my um, thread in both my cover stitch machine and in my serger. And then um, the jeans. So I think I'm just going to do a big jean day. Um, I may go ahead actually and film the plans for the next module because then I can make all four pairs of jeans in one fell swoop. But I want to make the plans video before I cut into the other denim. And I'm going to wash my denim with Coke so that it gets nice and soft. Um, sorry, my neighbor has my son and he's texting me. Um, so that it all gets nice and soft. I have plenty of denim to, or at least my non-stretch denim. My stretch denim might be fine. Usually that softens up pretty well. But I do need to wash all four pieces of my denim. Um, 
And yeah, I think I'm gonna do the Coke method for my um, non-stretch denim, get that nice and soft. Um, I think I just said that, <laughs> I'm saying it again. Uh, I have a little bit, I have actually um, a sufficient amount. I had three yards of this fabric. I would, nylon is what it is. It's like an athletic uh, non-stretch like nylon fabric. It's got like a brush one side, um, but I could, I don't know if anyone in my family needs like a pair of like hiking pants or this would be a good um, like anorak type jacket too. I've already made the Kelly anorak though a million times. I don't know if I want to do that again, but it's a great jacket. It's like windbreaker material. Um, so I may see if anyone else wants a green something, obviously not a cropped bomber, but something else. Um, I have tons of the green knit left over, but I knew I would. Quite a bit of the ribbed knit, which I was going to make her um, maybe a top or two out of that. And then I've got a decent amount of the rayon, also still, I'm staring at it over here. Um, I don't know if I have enough for a dress though. So I'll have to play around and see what she wants to do with that, but that may wait until I, another um, module. So yeah, I think it might be a time to pull out some more fabrics so I can get the denims all washed up and just have a big jean making party, uh, make up all four pairs of her jeans. Um, yeah, and get that done. Gosh, I may just go ahead and plan out, I don't know. Cause I, she needs some leggings too, which are gonna be a couple of the bottoms. I don't know. Well, I need to go through some patterns with her and come up with some ideas of what she wants things to be still. Um, anyway. Some good progress today. It felt good just to sit and sew all day today. Um, that's all I've got for tonight. I do promise that I will try on that jacket for you. Uh, I just need appropriate clothing on. I mean, I guess I could put it on these shorts, but I need to go make dinner now, so I'll catch you tomorrow or the day after. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you my progress today. So I hope you've enjoyed Follow Me Around today and um, just pulling that off the hanger. These Rhapsodies don't stay on hangers very well. Um, <laughs> Mine don't either. They stay better on my uh, velvet hangers. Okay, that's all I've got for today. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Hello everyone, happy Saturday. Um, it is like 2.45 in the afternoon. <laughs> it's not morning. I also feel like I'm a little crooked. Do I look a little crooked today? Um, my hair is also looking really fantastic. <laughs> that's what happens when I had that headband in all day yesterday. Um, Okay, so yesterday I had so much fun sewing for my daughter. Um, I kind of told myself I would do a chunk for her and then I'd be able to do a chunk, like something for myself. And then I'd do another big chunk for her and then do something for myself and kind of go back and forth. Um, and actually the last thing for that module is <clears throat> the jeans. And while I could go ahead and do the skinny jeans, I want to go ahead and film at least one more module um, plans video so that I can kind of batch sew the jeans a little bit. Um, so I'm using the same pattern for the stretch jeans and then the same pattern for the the non-stretch jeans um, and I need to get some coke because I want to my non-stretch denim is pretty stiff and I wanted to try that that coke trick that um, quite a few of you have told me about I think it's a Peggy Sagers uh, trick uh, anyway so I need to get some coke at the um, store on Monday so uh, anyway I decided to put those for aside for a second and I'm actually going to work on one of my sew the looks today um, it's that red dress that red J. J. Crew dress I'll pop a picture of it right here and I was going to use a style sew me pattern because I could have sworn <laughs> when I was looking at the pattern that it was for knits and then I got ready to print the pattern and it's not for knits. And my um, red fabric that I wanted to use to recreate because I wanted the dress to be red is a Ponty knit that I have in my stash and I really wanted to use that. I really didn't want to buy anything new. Um, so Liesl & Co were having a 50% off sale uh, a few weeks ago and I picked up this knit dress, the Belle Gravia, and I think it is a wonderful, now the J. Crew dress is actually a wrap dress, but I think this kind of, or not, not really wrap, it's a faux wrap dress, um, so it's the surplus neckline. Um, this one isn't that, but it still has the v-neck, it's got the nice, I can do the shorter sleeves, and it still has the neat tie detail at the waist. So, um, yeah, I picked that one up in the half off sale along with a few others. <laughs> and uh, if yeah, I could get a few weeks ago. So um, I'm going to sew that up today. I got it all cut out already. 
Um, I also have a pattern test that I'm going to be working on here this week. It's an itch to stitch one. Um, I think it's going to be another good one. And if this is in, she's doing everything in the extended size range from here on out. So all new patterns will be in both size ranges, which is also very exciting. You get them both when you buy the pattern. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Um, but it breaks, she breaks it up into two different, um, um, God, what is wrong? I don't have any words today. Two different size ranges, I guess, whatever. <laughs> anyway, um, I do need to work on that this week, but, um, I think I've decided on fabric. I have two pulled from my Zinc's fabric haul. So, um, anyway, I, I I don't know. I just kind of want to work on this red dress and then I could do a sew the look for the video on Tuesday. So you may have already seen this dress by the time you're seeing this vlog. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to put you up um, for time lapse and uh, yeah, let's get this knit dress sewn up. So I just finished, um, well, I finished my Belgravia um, dress. It looks really good. Um, I shortened it, uh, I shortened it an inch. I needed to shorten it two inches. I shortened it an inch at the skirt and an inch across the body at the length and shortened lines. And I kind of wish I would have done two inches at the skirt and nothing at the bodice because the front is a little high. You'll see it though on the sub look. <laughs> However, that being said, the back fits perfectly right at my natural waist. It's because of my boobs. Um, they cause that issue. So, um, I mean, ideally I would spread it. I mean, but they're reared pattern pieces because there's these ties. Anyway, <laughs> you know, it's fine. I, I really like it. It's a very, I think, a fun, sexy dress. So, um, you guys, you, in fact, you may have already seen this actually by the time you're watching this, but, um, got that finished. And then I went ahead and put my big girl pants on and changed my thread. I mean, I was already changing it back and forth with the red thread for the Belgravia. So I went ahead and put white 
on my cover stitch and white on my serger and I sewed up the closet case ebony. She just tried it on. She loves it. I linked them this, uh, the cropped version by two inches. I think that was perfect for her. So it sits, um, below like a high waisted, she has on some high waisted shorts today. So it sits, the front of it does sit below the waistband of those, um, cause it's a nice little swing. And then the back, as you can tell, is a little bit longer. So, um, it looks really cute on her. She said to keep that pattern out. She may want some more. So, um, and it's a really quickie, um, make as you just saw actually I accidentally unthreaded my cover stitch <laughs> and I've never had to thread it since I got it I've just been pulling the thread through and it was the um looper thread like the chain stitch thread that got un um undone so anyway I was like oh geez like am I just totally gonna have to spend the next 20 minutes reading up on my manual which I should <laughs> I should know how to thread it but <laughs> I don't take the time right now, but I got it figured out. It's all threaded and doing fine. So, um, that's good news. So anyway, there we have it. Double brush poly. Okay. This is my first time sewing with double brush poly. Here are my thoughts. It's polyester. I can tell it did not want to cut very well with my rotary cutter, which I haven't, that's usually an issue with polyester. It just doesn't cut very well. And I had issues cover stitching it. Um, and not because I unthreaded my machine that was sticking like the needles, um, like don't penetrate. I mean, they have a hard time penetrating. So then it, it kind of pulls and then you get a little bit of tunneling and I don't normally have an issue with tunneling, um, ever, but I could tell it was the fabric sticking. So, I mean, that's the nature of polyester. I mean, that's a, a common, thing that happens with polyester. It just doesn't cut because it's plastic. It doesn't cut very easily, um, but it's super soft. She really thought it was comfortable on, so I will we'll let her wear it for a few times and uh, see how it wears. And maybe this would be a good um, top and dress fabric for her for the winter. So anyway, isn't that cute? It's a great color on her, so I'm very excited about that. And you guys, again, will see this when we do the module um, lookbook. So uh, yeah, now I'm just ready to do jeans for her. Lots of jeans, four pairs of jeans. That's a lot of pairs of jeans. <laughs> That's a lot of pairs of jeans, but I haven't made a pair of jeans in a while. So um, I usually, once I get into that, uh, they're very satisfying to make. So it'll be fine. Okay, I think that's it for now. Um, I'm gonna stop sewing tonight for today because uh, it is 4.45. So I'm gonna go up and I'm going to make some fettuccine Alfredo for my family. Uh, for dinner tonight. And then I think, I mean, we'll see where tomorrow goes if I end up doing anything with my family. I think we're supposed to have scattered thunderstorms. So it may be a, I don't know, maybe we'll watch a movie or something like that. But if I do come down and sew, um, there's another really summery look of sew the look that I want to um, try and get done. Because then, let's see, I've done four now. So that, yeah, I just did number four. So um, it's the Misty dress. It's a Cezanne dress that I'm copying. It was like blue and white stripes and it has like a ruffle that I'm going to be attaching to the bottom. Um, but I do want to get that done here real soon before my summer, the summer leaves me because <laughs> um, it's a very summery one. And then the last three can all, because they're um, two, well, a jumpsuit, kind of a coverall type suit and then um, a dress that can that can very easily go into fall. So um, yeah, I may work on that next and get that all ready to go too. But um, yeah, I should be in good shape to do some filming, um, just have a filming day on Monday. So uh, that's all I've got for today. Thanks for following me around, a lot of time lapse. <laughs> and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hello everyone, happy Monday. Okay, I just finished filming um, both Friday's, Tuesday's video and, or tomorrow's video. Um, you have already seen it. <laughs> it's my Sew the Look dress. And um, Friday's video, which is a sponsored video, um, had to get that um, videoed and edited and um, turned in for approval. Um, I have to do that a couple of days in advance when those are scheduled to go up. So um, needed to get both of those filmed today. Did that. Um, okay, didn't check in yesterday because we turned yesterday into a cleaning the basement and setting up a classroom for my children. So we're gonna see how this goes. Um, we start school Wednesday, and so the day that you're seeing this, and um, I'm hope, 
yeah, we're just gonna have to see. Now their first day is virtual, so they'll be working, their first day of school will be here in the basement, but we've set up a nice classroom. I think it will be more of a, you're at school type situation. We went to Meyer, which is our um, like superstore around us. It's like a Walmart or Target, if you're not familiar with Meyer. Um, I wasn't until we moved to Indiana, <laughs> but I, we went to Meyer and they picked out school supplies just to leave here at the house. They'll be given stuff at school because school supplies are included in our um, book fees and stuff up there. But I thought this way, they just have stuff that's set up here all the time. Um, spots for their Chromebooks that they um, checked out from school are in the in the basement. So they've got school owned Chromebooks that are here that they'll be taking back and forth to school every other day. Um, but anyway, we've got everything all set up, got them a trash can, got them all, everything good to go. So that's what we spent yesterday doing. And then just cleaning up the basement. Um, you know, I got the bathroom all scrubbed. Sometimes the bathroom down here is the last one to get like any attention because I don't use this bathroom very often, <laughs> to be honest. Um, even though my sewing room's down here, if I go to the bathroom, I usually will go upstairs to go to the bathroom because if I need to if I need to use the restroom, I usually use it as a time that Gidget probably does too. So I'll go upstairs, let her out into the backyard, go to the bathroom upstairs, and then we'll come back down here. And it just gives me a chance to walk a little bit more. So anyway, got it all scrubbed. It is all ready um, for them to have school down here for the every other day hybrid. So, and it's down here if they need me. Um, we're gonna see how needed I am in this process. Hopefully it's not much, but I don't know. I have no idea how similar or how different it's going to be from the spring. So we're just going to play it by ear and see what we can see. Um, okay, so today I just finished filming. I've got to do editing. Um, today I have two pairs of jeans I need to hem for my friend's daughter. So I need to get that done. And then I have a test garment that I'm going to be working on um, that's due um, this weekend. So um, it's a new itch to stitch pattern. It's in the full size range, her new, her new extended size range and everything. Um, it's a good one. I can't wait to, I picked out my fabric um, and I think it's going to sew up pretty quick, but I do need to get that finished today so that I can get that photographed this week as well. Um, so that's not a lot that I can take you on. I mean, I could take you all along for the jean hemming, but that's not exciting at all. <laughs> I don't know why you would want to see that. So um, probably won't take you along on that. Um, but I did want to just pop on here and say hello. And then tomorrow, I'm hoping that I can, I want to work on another Sew the Look, um, which would be number five. Five? I think this was number four that you saw yesterday that, you saw yesterday that I just filmed. Um, is that right? Hmm, I think so. So I want to get number five, yes, I believe so. Number five finished, yes because <laughs> it's very summery and um so yeah I'll be working on that in addition to working on stuff for my daughter getting through that things um I've also been thinking a lot about the uh, module sew along and I think I am going to definitely do one it'll be a little bit more relaxed than the one in the spring um, but it probably won't I probably won't announce anything until mid-September um, just to give me a chance to get through my daughter's sewing and then I can really focus on my own fall and winter wardrobe. And uh, yeah, we'll just go through that all together and be exploring some shapes and fabrics and colors and that kind of stuff um, that I'll do uh, like weekly like I did in the spring. So every Tuesday or whatever, it'll be another um, video associated with the um, module sew along and I'm not going to be making everything. I'll be pulling some stuff from my existing closet and we'll be talking about that as well. So that is the plan in September. Um, yeah, going forward. Okay, I just wanted to pop on and say hello. It is 11.30. I have a lot to do today, so I'm going to uh, quit talking and uh, get on to that so that tomorrow we can do some more sewing, and I will take you along with that. Take you along with me on that. Okay, bye. Hi, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Okay, so um, it is like 3.45. <laughs> I've been um, working all day long. Those are the jeans where I hemmed for a friend. Hi. Got my partner here with me. <laughs> um, I actually didn't get any sewing done yesterday. I did get the dress cut out, Oops, the testing garment to <laughs> cut out, but um, didn't get it sewn up. So it got sewn up today. I got the jean jeans hem today. Um, I don't even know what I got caught up doing yesterday, to be honest. I mean, after I filmed and then I did a lot of um, editing and that kind of thing. Yeah, I think the day just kind of got away from me. Um, but I got up early this morning, went to the grocery store. Um, that always takes such, by the time you go to the grocery store, put everything away. Um, and then I then I make um, breakfast. I eat breakfast a little bit later in the morning after I've been going for a little bit. Um, yeah, it feels like 
that the morning gets away. But anyway, today is the last day of summer break for us. So tomorrow starts school. I think I mentioned that our kid, my kids start um, virtual tomorrow. <clears throat> then they'll go in person on Thursday. So um, anyway, that is us. I've got to get do a few things tonight to kind of get ready for that. But it'll be, yeah, back onto a schedule starting tomorrow. Um, I'm actually, this will be the first time I've had to set my alarm. I mean, I set my alarm maybe a couple of times just because I had things early to do, but for the most part, I have not had a set alarm since March 13th. So <laughs> it's time. Um, I'm not going to be getting up as early as I had in the past because um, our school starts an hour later, so I can still get up earlier than everyone else, but it's not as early. I used to get up at 5.15 in the morning, but I think I can get up at 6 in the morning and uh, be fine um, with being able to get my stuff done um, beforehand. So um, that is all I've got for today. I can't show you the dress I was working on, but I will say, I think this week, um, I mean, it's all going to, you know, be based on school. I have no idea what that's going to look like, and it probably won't be too bad, um, you know, this week and probably next week, just because, you know, we'll be getting into the groove and school have just started. Um, but we'll be getting into it, and so um, I have no idea what that's going to look like. But I have been thinking a little bit about fall sewing, and... Um, I've been putting together, I really want to work a lot with camel colors, like really warm browns. In fact, this is what I made my test garment out of this fabric. I got this, it's a rib knit from um, Zinks when I did that fabric. I have no idea what this is. It feels like, a, like there's rayon in it. It's very soft, but it could have some poly. I'll do a burn test to see. Um, it actually feels a lot like, I have a, um, what is it? I feel like it was even bamboo rib knit that I bought from Blackbird Fabrics. I got like a remnant of it and I made it into a tank top and this feels very similar, but um, I could be wrong. So yeah, I will do a burn test on this. I bought the entire bolt of this though because I loved the color. It's such a warm brown color, um, kind of a, a caramel color a little bit. Um, but this is inspiring me for fall. And I have quite a few walls I mean the whole work from home um tips and um wardrobe pieces I definitely am going to be basing my um module off that and I've got some wools that I want to work with and um then some knits I'm trying to see what else I've got down there anyway I'm sure I've got some bottom weights and all that kind of stuff so I may and then my thrifted boucle will go really well because I'm thinking I want to add I'm not 100% sure but I'm thinking like tones of, of camel and then maybe a little bit of chocolate brown um, and then like a real warm like um, burgundy kind of color that's kind of like my darker red that really works well for me with some real dark purples like eggplant kind of colors and then either hunter like a dark green I don't have my colors down here otherwise I'd, I'd show you um, or a dark teal maybe the dark teal it's kind of what I'm thinking so those would be accent pieces with most of my basics being kind of in different shades of camel and chocolate brown is kind of what I'm thinking so um just real warm. I mean, we're getting into my season, so because I'm an autumn um, color palette, this is now the time for me to be buying fabric, technically, because there's a lot of my colors that'll be on the market here real soon. <laughs> or maybe that's an excuse for me to buy fabric. Um, but anyway, um, I don't know. That could change. My accent colors could change. But I'm definitely leaning more towards a camel with a little bit of chocolate brown for my main neutrals. Uh, maybe a little bit of cream in there um, for the main neutrals. Because um, I could I could go a different way even with my accents. I'm not entirely sure yet. I also like navy with camel too. So that could be good. I don't know. We could have a few different modules that uh, can then kind of go back and forth with one another. So anyway, that's kind of what I was thinking. But I may take you guys along and we can dig through the fabric stash this week. Um, and kind of start planning out a few things because I would really like to finish sewing up my daughter's stuff um, ooh, Which by the I'll talk about that in a second I really want to finish sewing up all of her stuff so that I can really move back on to myself um, But I don't even have plans yet for the rest of hers um, I have been working on the denim all day today um, as far as washing it So I just went ahead and washed the um, stretch denim. I don't feel like that needs 
you know, it's a pretty soft and that stuff really softens up after a wash and a dry. But my regular denim, my non-stretch denim was very stiff. So I um, put, let's see, I had four yards total. I had two cuts of it that were two yards each. And they have been sitting soaking in my washing machine with an entire two liter bottle of Coke. <laughs> I just thought I'll go big, go home. Um, and I let it sit like, I don't know, four or five hours. Um, Anyway, then I washed, you know, then I did all the rinsing and then I washed it with soap to get the sticky and all the sugar and stuff out of both my washing machine and the fabric and they're in the dryer right now. So um, we will see how those come out. Um, they were feeling a lot more pliable when they came out of the washing machine. So I'm very hopeful about that. Um, but yeah, we'll be doing a lot of denim sewing here soon. Um, but yeah, I'm ready to start planning out my fall sewing. I'm getting starting to get over summer sewing. And I have one more sew the look that is a little bit more summery that doesn't really go um, autumn very well that I want to get done. So that needs to be done probably next week or this week. So anyway, and I'll take you guys along on that. I can do something similar like I did with the J. Crew dress um, and show you I'm hacking the Misty Cami, um, which is also a dress pattern, but I'm going to hack that into the dress that I'm wanting to make. So um, yeah, that is kind of the plans. So I hope you've enjoyed the week uh, with me this week, and uh, I will see you again next week. Have a good one. Bye!